What's up guys, this is Matt Pizarca with Total Intense Training and Nutrition and I'm going over the top 20 vertical jump exercises of 2020 and this video will come number 12. Well, before we cover that, please hit the like button and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, you don't miss a video from me. Anyway, number 12, we have a bonus today, we actually have the landmine jerk we're going to talk about and also the dumbbell snatch, okay? Both similar exercises in my opinion. So. As you can see here, the landmine jerk. Take a barbell and put it into a corner in your gym, put light weight on it, and you uh, squat down a little bit, bending your hips, knees, and almost like you're in a jump angle, and you're going to explode and press that uh, bar up. It was a very, very powerful and violent jerk, what it's called. Um, this actually helps uh, train your body asymmetrically, which means you're going to really engage your core because you're holding weight on only one side of your body. That's what asymmetrical means, uh, only one side. Really going to force you to use your core to keep your entire body stable and not falling over to that one side. So it's also going to uh, help your kinetic chain connectivity and uh, synchronization. So what that means is it's going to actually train your entire body, right from your feet all the way up to your shoulders to use every muscle you possibly can to move that weight up in the air, okay? What you want, we want to train that for your vertical jump. We want to make sure that your muscles are working uh, together to get you up as high as you possibly can, okay? That's the landmine jerk. Another thing, like if you can see in this video, uh, you want to have your, so you can see here, um, make sure when you're holding it, don't bend your wrists like this. You want to keep it just like this, like you're punching up through the ceiling, okay? So just like that, you can see here, Make sure you're not cocking it down or cocking it back. Keep it straight. Punch to the ceiling, okay? Make sure your um, forearm is parallel with the wall so it's facing straight up and you're not like pushing out like this. You wanna push up, okay? And as you can see, it's a, like a jumping motion, okay? Very strong jerk. The next exercise that I believe is tied for 12th place here, the dumbbell snatch. So we're gonna do another one. It's asymmetrical to so change your core and your uh, kinetic chain to work together to get the weight up in the air to really just explode off the ground. And you wanna bend your hips down, keeping your back upright, chest facing forward so you're not like hunched over like a, like a, like a scared cat, right? You wanna, keep your, you wanna lock your shoulders back, core tight, explode with your legs, drive from your legs. And as you can see in the video here, your, um, your legs, your feet will actually leave the ground for a split second. So you're almost like you're like jumping that weight up in the air, right? You're going to then drive that dumbbell up as close as you can to your body here, right? So very close, you're not having it out here. Very close to path to your body. Elbow flares out, comes up, you're gonna, you're gonna actually catch it in almost like a quarter squat position and hold that for a brief second. Really tightening your core and your entire body to, to uh, keep yourself stable and then drop it down for another one and just keep going for, the, for your prescribed reps. Uh, don't go too heavy with this, guys. Like you, see, you can probably see you guys in the gym uh, throwing up like 110 pound dumbbells. Uh, those guys are, are training for, for pure power because they're, they're, um, they're power lifters. What we want to do is we want to use a lighter weight, probably one that you probably fail around, I'd say 10 or 12 reps uh, and, and perform only five reps at the, at the most because we want, to, we want to actually train your body to, to be fast and to have that very, very quick, strong contraction and the very nice velocity with that movement, right? We don't want to be like struggling the last few reps. We want to actually like, like go very, very quickly. Very strong contractions, okay guys? That's what we want to train our body to do, okay? Be very powerful and strong and fast, okay? Um, if I'm forgetting here. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I have everything. Okay, yeah, change to for closeness and, and power here. So those two, the dumbbell snatch and the landmine jerk are tied for number 12 for my top 20 vertical exercises of 2020. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.